Hey ladies and gents, this is this Twist coming to you with a look at the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Guillermo del Toro action figure visionary director Guillermo del Toro. And before I get started, um, I want to say hello to Miggy. Hey Miggy. Mm -hmm. Hello. Got to say hello to Kirkine. Hey Kirkine. So, anyway, uh, I want to give a shout out to a very special person uh, who goes by the name of World War Hulk on the fantastic exclusive message boards. He's the reason I have this figure. Um, I had originally had tickets to go to San Diego Comic Con, but um, I was going to go with my friend. My friend's mom, unfortunately, ended up having a stroke, so we couldn't go. Um, I hadn't mentioned any of this on, on the board, but somebody started a thread saying, what figure are you most excited about at San Diego Comic-Con? And I said, the Guillermo del Toro action figure from NECA. And um, this person, uh, World War Hulk, just ended up buying it for me. <laughs> I, I didn't ask. For it, I just said, "Hey, this is the one I'm more excited, I'm most excited for." And if I would have actually ended up going to San Diego Comic Con, I would have bought one, and then he would have bought one for me, so I would have had two. <laughs> but um, he just did, you know, random act of kindness, and um, I didn't know who it was. I didn't know his name. Um, he just, you know, somebody who um, just. Yeah, just random act of kindness. It's kind of weird, huh? That rarely happens. Most of the time, the stuff that happens on the internet is pretty darn crappy. But thank you very much, World War Hulk, for this action figure. Everyone's nice and kind to each other. Well, uh, some people are. So, um, without further ado, uh, one of the main reasons I was... Here's, here's the side of the box that's got his um, signature on it. And on the back, it's got him next to the uh, monument from Pan's Labyrinth, I believe. It says, Guillermo del Toro creates dark, beautiful movies infused with a visual poetry that speaks directly to the heart of the viewer. In conjunction with the launch of the Guillermo del Toro signature collection of action figures, NECA celebrates the visionary film director with his own figure. Okay, so... Um, one of the reasons I wanted it is because I collect Mexican action figures and Guillermo del Toro is a Mexican director, um, highly acclaimed. Uh, I was really rooting for him. Like here, here you, here you um, take a look at, at the um, really nice insert here. And again, the monument from Pants Labyrinth. I, he's been a favorite director of mine for many movies. And not just because he's Mexican, because he's a good director. And because he's Mexican. And yeah, of course, but he's a great director in his own right. I collect Mexican action figures, so I was excited about him. And um, I was rooting for him to win um, Best Director, an Academy Award for it. And I was kind of worried that it would never happen because three, uh, two Mexican directors won, um, I think in 2013, uh, Quaron won for the movie Gravity. Did you see what? Did you see Gravity? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he won for the movie Gravity. That was an amazing one with Sandra Bullock. So that was the first Mexican director to win um, the an, um, an Academy Award, I think. Yeah. And then I think the next year it was another Mexican director by the name of Iñárritu who won Best Picture for Birdman, which was a really cool. Um, really, really cool movie. So two Mexican directors in a row, and I'm like, wow, they're not going to give it to another Mexican um, for a while, and maybe Guillermo del Toro is just out of luck. But guess what? Uh, he ends up winning this year for Shape of Water. So in the last five years, three out of the best, um, best pictures uh, were directed by Mexican directors. And um, so, yeah, Mexicans. Taking over Hollywood. Kind of cool. Um, he comes with this book as well. Um, so let's see, he can hold it in his hand. What that is, is kind of a sketchbook where he writes all his ideas and stuff. Anyway, 
Um, it doesn't look like it fits in his hand that well. But behind, <laughs> <laughs> but you can open it up though. And he's probably gonna have trouble standing on this because it's kind of like a carpet. But um, you open it up, and then side you see some of his concept can drawings. You put it while it's open? Oh yeah, probably. Um, you you see um, some of the concept drawing from Pan's Labyrinth, which is my favorite movie that he's ever done. Pan's Labyrinth. I don't, I don't want to. Mm. You can almost hold it. <laughs> well, you know, it's 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 not really going to be a lot. There it is. There it is. All right, so he's got it. Um. So yeah, so he can hold it while it's open. But um, it's a really, really good likeness of him. Fit Pants Labyrinth is the favorite movie that he's of mine that he's done. It's called El Laberinto de Fauno. You saw that, Miggy? Yes. And I, I love that movie. I know you didn't think it was that great, right? I don't remember anything from it. <laughs> I saw it, too. And what did you think? Was it because it was in Spanish, or...? <laughs> I, I actually Didn't... don't really remember. Yeah, me neither. Okay. I, I, I just remember that anyway. weird with the eyes on his hands. Or... Yeah, so they're going to have action figures from that movie. The weird dude with the eyes on his hand. Don't eat anything. It's going to come out. Um, there's going to be, um, I think, the fawn from Pan's Labyrinth. And so now you have Guillermo del Toro to, to um, act, the, uh, you know, shout action or whatever. Here's some other movies of his that I've enjoyed. The Book of Life. The Book. The Book. The Book of Life. Um, that was kind of a precursor to Coco. It was an animated movie about um, the day, Mexican Day of the Dead starring uh, this guy here and that lady there. So we got some action figures, including um, that guy who is the king of the underworld. I really enjoyed that one. Do you remember that Book of no. Life? How about Hellboy? You've watched any of the Hellboy movies? We got a cool yeah. Samuel figure. Hellboy's pretty cool. We got a cool um, Abe Sapien. We got a very cool Wink. So I've got, he's going to be surrounded by all his characters that he's directed in all of these great movies that he's done. But um, of course, the movie that he got most acclaim for, uh, The Shape of Water. So why don't you talk about what you like about The Shape of Water? <laughs> it was a great movie. I liked it because um, the the main protagonists were sort of very, very different. You know, you had people that were like sort of from marginalized communities, like the handicapped lady and the gay guy. And six I've got six seconds. So that's it. Is the Wiz signing out. Guillermo del Toro is going to be shopping at at the store. I don't know. He says, I thought you said I had six seconds. You did. And why is it still going? Because it's over. <laughs> <laughs>